Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today we are doing another empties video. It has been quite some time since I did an empties video. If you've been watching recently, you know I've been a, a low buy this year, trying to use more products that I already own and not buying so much. So this is actually the first empties video that I've filmed since, let me see, I pulled it up here, January. So. What you're seeing in today's video is from February, March, April, and May, four months worth of empties. So you may see it and go, that doesn't look like that much for four months. But again, I kind of think it helps illustrate the point of it takes way longer to go through products than maybe we think, and so we don't need to buy as much as maybe it feels like or we see on social media. So without getting too far into the point before the video even starts, let's go ahead and get into it. Last thing before we do that, if you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I upload videos twice a week. It's totally free to subscribe, and I would love to see you back again on the channel. Chat in the comments, leave me a comment. Let me know, how are you doing? What are you trying to use? up um, for me what I'm trying to use up before we get into the empties because I'm working on more empties this one right here look how much I have left just a little bit around the corners this is the wet and wild color icon bronzer it's so old the the lid is even broken but that's all I have left of that one so I'm so close probably the next empties video um, that'll be in there and then I'm also very close another broken lid on the Maybelline master chrome metallic highlighter we've really again just got dust and a little bit around the rim that I am very close on those two items so success let's get into the empties from the last four months so first up i'm going to talk hair why because while my hair is now so long you can't even see it all in frame if the hair is herring right we're growing out our natural color we're getting rid of the blonde um and i want some length because i'm gonna get married not this summer but next summer and i really want to be able to do a nice look something with my natural hair so we're growing it out and that means more more hair care i feel like more products it takes work to keep hair, natural hair, that's this length nice, I feel like. So these are all different things that I have used up hair-wise. First one is this L'Oreal Metal Detox Shampooing Professional, um, it's just shampoo, but this was really, really nice. Not too harsh, lathered really nicely, um, smelled really nice, didn't strip my hair. This one I was sent by Influencer and L'Oreal really like this one. I will not currently be repurchasing it because I don't know what's going on with Influencer lately, but I have been sent so many shampoos lately. Um, right now I am using one, testing one out right now. Um, usually I post reviews of those on Instagram, so check the description box below if you want to follow me on Instagram or any of my other socials. And then I will be after that shampoo trying an IGK one I was sent. So really think this one is great better price point being L'Oreal in my opinion, but personally not repurchasing it at this moment because I have so many others that I'm trying. I also used up a conditioner. You guys, it took me, I'm not kidding you, years <laughs> to use this up. Um, I don't use conditioner all the time, but I feel like now that it's this length, I do more and more because it does get dry um, and it is very a fine texture, so it tangles in itself easily, so I need something detangling and conditioning. Um, and this is the one and only Argan Oil Color Oasis Volumizing Conditioner. I got this at Sally Beauty years ago um, and I bought it because it was on clearance. You can see the little red remnant of the reduced price ticker, ticket sticker there. And my sister-in-law used to be the manager of a Sally Beauty and she talked me into this one and said how good it was. This smells a little eh to me, um, but it worked well, it served its purpose. Again, I'm not gonna be repurchasing it because I have a lot of, like all of those shampoos I was talking about came with a paired conditioner. So I have plenty of hair care products right now um, that I'm testing out for review. Don't need to buy more right now. Also got sent this guy from Garnier. I was actually sent a couple from Influencer and I liked them and I bought two myself. So this is actually my second one of these. Um, papaya ones I've gone through and I've gone through one that's with a green lid that's avocado and I've got one more left that's avocado so I do like these I've 
gone through three full tubs, two papaya and one avocado so far. It is a damage repairing treat one minute hair mask. Now what I like about this is you have options. You can use it as a mask, you can use it as a conditioner and rinse it, or what I usually use it for is a leave-in conditioner. And I do think it helps a lot with conditioning and flyaways. It's a big problem for me right now probably doesn't look too bad I don't think it usually looks much worse because I did flat iron my hair today that seems to be the only way I can truly get rid of flyaways is a flat iron which I don't want to do heat on my hair all the time so yeah if you have suggestions for flyaways that aren't heat related let me know but this was really nice and would I repurchase it like I said already yes I have <laughs> but I'm working on an avocado one right now so not in this moment will I get another one but these are really nice and they smell so good last up in the hair category is a couple of dry shampoos now I kind of ooh, made it my mission to use up all the dry shampoos in my entire collection because I wanted to no longer do aerosol I mentioned a few videos back but there's been some things releasing about both um, dry shampoo and sunscreen that are aerosols and the different ingredients and how they maybe aren't the best for you I'm just trying to be cognizant of that and was like, okay, you know what this makes sense I don't feel good about this anymore. So I'll use up what I have This one I love dearly. So it's really hard to say I'm not gonna buy again but I'm investigating other things that aren't aerosols for dry shampoo right now so this is the foxy bay dirty gal dry shampoo i got this from tj maxx awful worst like nozzle dispenser thing i think i've ever tried i it would not spray out i literally had to hold the bottle upside down and spray to be able to even use this terrible do not recommend zero out of ten I mean, the product itself was okay once I could get it out, but there's just too many barriers and too many other good ones, even if you do one on aerosol. This is probably my favorite dry shampoo of all time. It's from Amika, and it is the Perk Up Dry Shampoo. This is a little birthday Sephora one I got. Oh, I'm sad. I'm sad that, to say that I'm not, at least at this point, repurchasing this um, because of the ingredients. But when you have butane and propane, as ingredients, I can see why people are saying like, it's not the best to be putting on your skin and your scalp directly. So again, I'm trying to do more like powders that aren't talc and powders that aren't in an aerosol. If you have suggestions, let me know. I've been trying a few, haven't really found one that I love yet, but these are done and I'm not repurchasing. One kind of beauty adjacent thing that I do like to mention, just cause I feel like people don't talk about it enough, is deodorant. So I used up two deodorants in the last four months. One was sent to me through Influencer and it was this Dove one, not good. Um, it's supposed to have this like refillable cartridge to make it more eco-friendly. I like that idea. Um, but this stuff, it's a natural deodorant. There are natural deodorants that keep me from stinking. This is not one of them. It did not last. It, I mean, West told me it smelled like an onion by the end of some days. So not strong enough, doesn't work. I can't do it. I can't be smelling like an onion, you guys. I can't. Now, the brand that has consistently worked for me is Native. I repurchase this all the time. This particular one is sandalwood and fig. Um, I'm using another one right now of a, a different scent. I don't remember what it is, but Native, it, it does keep me from smelling, even though it is aluminum and paraben free. So if you're looking for something like that, that will help you from not stinking, even if you sweat, I recommend you check this one out. You can get it online, but I find it's being more and more and more readily available. Like my Kroger carries this now, so deodorant tips. Okay, next up is some like skincare and skincare adjacent-esque things. So I've got, I say adjacent because I've got like chapstick and lip products. Okay, so we'll start there. Winter, put my lips through it. Okay, so I went through this entire chapstick brand, Total Hydration with Sea Minerals Chapstick. This was really nice. This was also sent to me. A lot of stuff that has been sent to me, like I feel very lucky. I feel like I keep saying that. It was sent to me, it was sent to me, but I'm, I'm just being honest I feel like in telling you you know it was gifted to me but this used up completely really nice would purchase again if I needed it but I have oh my goodness so many lip balms I'll leave linked my entire makeup collection because I know I counted the lip balms as part of that I have plenty I don't need more so if I ever get to a point where I don't have any and I need one I'll get this it's good but don't need them also completely went through this Olive Lips Oats and Honey Moisturizing Lip Balm. This one was from an Ipsy from a long time ago, and I think it's because it was so old it kind of stank, but I still used it, and it was still moisturizing, so we used up that. 
And then I'm like addicted to lip masks at night now. Can't sleep without them, too dry. So I used up a Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Grapefruit. It's just one of the tiny little ones. And I have another one I'm using right now because it was like a three or a four pack. So I don't need to buy any more of these, I already have it. But I do really like it and recommend it if you are looking for something like that. Um, then we have these best thing ever, CosRx Master Patches. Um, I want to get more of these because these are the best ones I have found so far. Basically, this will like suck out anything out of those big raised things. Now, I will say, if you just put it, like I have a big one right now, that if you just put it over it and sleep, it doesn't do anything. You do need to see this where you're careful. Like if you pinch stuff to squeeze it out, it's going to scar. But if somehow you have like a sanitary thing that you can like, you know, you have to you have to break the skin for this to be able to suck it out. It doesn't just pull it out without there being some place for it to like drain from. I know that's very graphic. I'm sorry for the details, but I'm just trying to tell you. If you put it on here like on a big raised up thing and there's no way for the stuff to get sucked out, it's not going to work. But if you can, they sell sets now. I got one from TJ Maxx here. Let me let me show you what I'm talking about. Because I wanted to stop like pinching to do this and scarring. So this is what I saw. Um, but they sell these blemish removal kit. It's basically like when they do extractions for facials. Um, and they look literally like little dentist tools. I know, a little scary. But basically, if you sanitize these, right, and use this and use the little like pokey end to, you know, and then put one of those uh, pimple patches on it'll be like completely flat the next day it's like gone and when it's flat then it's easier to conceal than like an actual physical mound you know so you know, do what you want but that's that's what i'm doing with myself here um i got more into face masks the last few months i mean this is four months worth and i have three face masks so uh you know once a month whatever i had time to be like oh right take care of myself so I used a hologram mask, a hydrogel mask, a hydro firm lace mask. This one was weird. I didn't like this one. It was the lace, it was, it was just weird. It stuck to my face in a weird way. I didn't like it. These two were fine. Did I notice life changing things in either of them? No. They were hydrating, which I've noticed as I've gotten slightly older. I'm 31. I do have to hydrate and prep the skin more now than I used to have to for my makeup to lay nicely. So a face mask or some under eye gels or things like that are really helpful. Um, and then the round off, finish up the skincare here, we've got the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This was really nice. I see the hype. Um, if you want to get this, sometimes it's expensive, but TJ Maxx $16.99 and it lasts a long time, you guys. This is the only empty for cleansing balm I have from the last four months. That should tell you. It's gonna last you a long time, right? For $17, I feel like that's pretty good. And then the last skincare thing before we get into makeup here is from, I don't know if it's Aloe or ALO, I don't know the brand name, um, but this also was sent to me. It's their Luminizing Face Moisturizer. And I, I cleaned this sucker up, okay? I like this because it was very lightweight for the moisturizer, it wasn't like too thick, thick ones. I feel like I more have to do overnight. I don't like a thick one in the daytime. This is expensive. I wanna say when I looked it up, it was like $50 or something, but it lasts so long. Again, you'll notice this is the only moisturizer in my entire empties video. This is what I've been using for four, maybe even five months if I started it before this time period. Um, but it was really nice. I do have quite a few moisturizers in my collection. So if you need one, I'd recommend this, but I personally won't be repurchasing it right now just because I do have other stuff that I need to use up in my collection. And I am trying to, you know, have that as a goal with my skincare too, and not just my beauty to par down my collection a little bit. Use what I have, I'm running out of storage. The moment you've all been waiting for the makeup, the makeup, what are the makeup empties, okay? There's not a ton, I'm not gonna lie. I know last video I made somebody was like, oh, that doesn't look like much. 
girl I know, okay? It's not for lack of trying. It just is what it is. So we're gonna have to make peace with it. So the first one, I'm just gonna do this one because it's fine, kind of funny. Um, this is a single blush that I completely used up. You can see it's literally just the empty pan, but this was a single blush that I had from Avon that I completely used up. You might be able to see like in the corner here what the color was. Just one little shard in that corner. I don't even know if you can see it, but it was like a mauve blush. That's completely used up. I completely used up an entire Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. That's a thing I use like every day is eyeshadow primer. Um, I completely used up this little K Voss Perfecting Potion Illuminating Primer that I got from an Ipsy. This I love so much more than I thought I would, so it was pretty easy to go through. One, because it was small, and two, because I was like, every day, like things that were a little too matte for me now, maybe the once upon a time were good when I was oily, but more that I'm now, now that I'm more combo skin or a little too matte, this like made it workable to put on this luminizer and then the matte on top of it was like, oh, natural finish. I really liked it. I would like to get another one of these, but same as everything else. I have enough primers. Lately, I've been using, I showed you guys in my most recent TJ Maxx haul, leave that linked. I've been using the e.l.f. Cookies and Cream, no, Cookies and Dreams, sorry, putty primer. And then sometimes if I'm feeling dry, I've just been using this Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum as my primer slash moisturizer. So I got plenty. I don't need to buy it right, more, right now. So like bookmark, mental note, if you ever need it or you want something illuminating, it's great. It's not super expensive for the full size, but I just personally need to not right now. That's how I feel with a lot of these. Ah, the next one as well, okay? Um, this is the Benefit Gimme Brow Plus. The label's gone. I've used it so much. This is my absolute favorite brow setter of all time. Now, I will say I do really like this one. I have the NYX Bear with me. That's what I'm using right now, but this is clear. This one's tinted, so I will say I guess this is my favorite tinted. Maybe this is my favorite clear. So this one I have to use with a NYX like, pomade to fill them in and then set them. This one I feel like with the tint, if I want a light, light brow day, I can just use this. That's the only product I need. It's fine, but I do like it in conjunction with a pencil also, um, but... This one goes on sale fairly frequently at Ulta. I think the last time I got this, I didn't pay anything because it was like $12 on sale and I used points. So I see myself getting this one again and the, the applicator is really what makes it guys because it's like small and pointed. I'll show you an applicator for another tinted brow product that I'm trying to use up right now that I don't like. And maybe you'll see why. Look how big this one is compared to this one. You can't be precise with this and it's just, the formula is really gloopy and not good, but you know, when that one's gone, we'll talk about that product. But we're, you know, we're, we're on this one right now. Um, this is amazing, I've gone through, I think this is my second or third one of these. I will repurchase this. It's just a matter of I'm waiting for it to be on sale again because most benefit things, like I just can't stand to pay the full price on them. You know, they go on sale enough that it's like, I'll wait. I'm good. It's okay. So next time this is on sale again, I'll pick it up again. I think I'm in shade like 2.5 or 3, something like that. I'll have to look at my history to make sure I repurchase the right shade. We used up an entire foundation, you guys. I know. So I used up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Nude Ivory. I bought this years ago also. I actually bought this um, soon after we moved into this house and I wanted to do a video that was like all testing a full face of one brand and I wanted to do wet and wild so I'll leave that video linked it's years old now if you just want like a laugh or you want to check out what wet and wild because they still sell most if not all of the products I did in that video um, but I finally used it up will not repurchase this okay number one the applicator oh Oh, we have some foundation who has appeared from the chat. Maybe I will be able to get one more use out of this. But the paddle, that's that's my complaint. Like, it's hard to get out and scrape and do things with it because of this weird paddle applicator. So you end up like trying to dig it out. There's no pump, it is a glass bottle. Um, and it smells like paint thinner. It smells kind of like acetone and I don't wanna put that on my face. So, 
for those reasons, even though this is affordable and it does look nice on the skin, I'm not gonna repurchase it. It's not worth the hassle. There's other stuff I like more for a similar price point. The Believe Beauty Foundation comes to mind. Um, so we're done with her. She's, she's gonna rest in peace. Last three items here from Ritual Defeat. I got the little sample size of the Thorn Oil, the Thorn Milk, and then the Thorn Jelly, I think it was called, the makeup remover. This one is the Thorn Milk, like the mist, the prep and setting spray. It was okay. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of rose scents, um, but it didn't disturb the makeup. I don't know that it did anything for the longevity of it, but it was definitely hydrating. So if you have an issue with dryness, you might like this. Out of that trio, the jelly, the makeup remover was the thing I loved the most. <laughs> and you can get it at Ulta now. Um, so again, I'm just like, I'm building up my points again at Ulta. So um, probably won't get that mist again, but the makeup remover, that one, once I uh, go through, I'm using a Keys Soul Care. I'm sorry, I have a cat here. <laughs> somewhere on my nose and it's, it's bothering me. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm all over the place today. Um, the Key Soul Care makeup remover is the one I'm using right now. It's the second one I've gone through. That one is great, but maybe when I'm done with that, I'll go with the Ritual Defeat again. Sometimes I do sales now. They're doing a 20% off this weekend memorial sale right now, full size items. Um, last two, okay, um, Kat Von D. And it says Kat Von D, not KVD, so that should tell you something, right? Now this actually isn't that old. I got an Ipsy, but it does have the old branding on it. So I don't know how long that means it sat before Ipsy sent it to me, but you can see it's just a little tiny one of the tattoo liner, the waterproof liquid eyeliner in Trooper Black. I love a, <laughs> I love a brush tip. I love it. I hate a felt tip. So I loved this so much. But I've really been doing, you can probably see today, more shadow liner lately and not so much liquid liner. So I don't really feel a need to repurchase it. I just will use shadow as a liner. Um, and I do have some liquid liners that are not as nice, but I need to use up and some gel liners. So it's nice if you want something like that, but it's just not something I need in my life right now. And last but not least, the final thing, you guys, is from Essence. This is the False Lashes Mascara Extreme Volume and Curl. I did really like this one. It surprised me. It's very inexpensive. It's got a little bit of a curve to the wand. I still curl my lashes with like a curler every day. I don't think it does that much to curl on its own. Volume wise though, it did separate very well, which that's the number one thing I look for in a mascara personally. I have pretty nice lashes. They're not too sparse. Like this is them right now, no falsies. I mean, I have mascara on, but no falsies. Um, but if I can find something separated, that separates the lashes. I do think I'm pretty happy with just my natural lash lashes. I don't feel the need to be like, oh my gosh, I have to wear a falsie. I do like to sometimes to be more dramatic, but I don't have to. And this one I think helped separate. So all that to say, if you want something that's pretty affordable, this was like three or four ninety nine from Essence. It's gonna do a good job separating and is not gonna be like flaky or transfer anything like that. This one was a good one. Um, again, I'm not repurchasing it because I have so many mascaras. If you, again, if you, if you watch or have watched my makeup inventory, you know I've got plenty. So I'm using this Ico Linden Rockout Lash Out one right now that I don't like because it does flake a bit and it doesn't separate that well. Got it in an Ipsy. It is what it is. That's what I'm wearing today. Um, but yeah. Those are all the empties from February, March, April, and May. Four months worth of empties of hair care, skin care, makeup, whatever, you name it. So what do you think? How did I do? Not, not that much for four months? Decent amount for four months? I don't know. You tell me in the comments down below. And I really hope to see you back again on the next one, guys. That is all, guys. And I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye.